So hi guys, this is Dr. Jim Anderson and I'm here from Anderson Podiatry Center for uh, Neuropathy and Chronic Pain and I'm here to talk to you about restless legs. You know, I've got a lot of videos on YouTube about restless legs. A lot of them are testimonials, but I also like to throw in a mixture of educational videos because I truly believe that for many of you listening out there, there could be a solution for your restless legs, especially when they're severe. Uh, and the, the approach that we use for many people is what we call surgical decompression, which is opening up nerve tunnels that have become tight in their lower extremity. And so we already have one published paper in regarding this. Uh, I also have an Amazon best-selling book that you might want to look up and read. It's called A Perfect Night's Sleep, and uh, it's a pretty easy read. But uh, go to Amazon and check that out. And also, while I'm thinking about it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps us to get more of this information out for a lot of people out there that may not know that, hey, there's another option here that you can look at and evaluate for yourself. This is information from a second paper. We already have a paper published, and we're hoping to get... Uh, within the next few months, another second paper published that's going to have more rigorous data. And I don't expect you to be able to read this. You may have to expand the, the video on your cell phone or, or your computer. But I'm going to read through this. And what these are are before and after results uh, that will hopefully be published in our next paper. Uh, it's called a visual analog scale. And all this means is we ask patients before surgery, hey, how bad is this symptom on a scale of one to 10? And how bad is it afterwards? Or how much improved, I should say, is it afterwards? And so I'm gonna go through each and every one of these. There's about, I think about 15 of these. Uh, and so one thing that we notice with restless legs, not everybody, but a lot of people have a bit of neuropathy going on also. It's almost like the mute button's on. In other words, there are symptoms that might be 90% restless legs, but just a little bit of its neuropathy. And so that's what this side of the graph is. These are the before and afters of neuropathy symptoms, and these are the before and afters of the restless leg symptoms. And so I'm gonna go through each one of these and name them as we go through. But this is taken from, again, from our subjects that are in our second study. Um, so let's start over here on the neuropathy side. So one of the symptoms of neuropathy is pain. Well, as you can see here, uh, this is a scale from 1 to 100, and up here, uh, right, right around in the middle, it would be 50. You know, 100 would be severe pain. Right about in the middle, there would be the blue bar. And then you can see really down here, kind of an orangish, brownish bar. That's the after. And then we can come over to uh, burning. Same thing, about 60. Goes down to around 5. And uh, numbness, same thing. About 45 to 50. Going down to... Uh, approximately 15. So you kind of get the picture. I don't think we need to necessarily go through every each and every one of these. I might just point out some highlights. Tingling is a pretty big thing. I, I seem to notice that a little bit more sometimes in people with a neuropathy, or uh, I should say restless legs, they notice this tingling. So tingling was pretty high, about 70, went down to about 10 on a scale of 1 to 100. And then you get over to weakness and then also balance. But uh, the thing I want you to appreciate, the blue bars are the before, and the brownish bars down here, kind of rust colored, are the afters. Now, let's get over to the uh, restless leg symptoms. And I can rapidly go through this tightness, aching, pulling, uh, cramping, twitchiness, uneasiness, creepy crawly sensations, throbbing. If you have restless legs, I'm sure you totally can relate to this. And probably if we looked at these selectively, probably the biggest one is twitching. Twitching went from over 80 down to about 12. Another big improvement change was uneasiness. It went from about 75 down to about five. Uh, creepy crawly, same thing. And over here, you can see throbbing, another pretty big change here. All of these are pretty big changes, but we've got tightness, aching, pulling, creepy crawly, twitchy, uneasiness, creepy crawly, uh, and throbbing. So again, before and after. So I hopefully that's enlightening you a little bit more about why I like to coin this term or a new term for restless legs, restless legs compression syndrome, because I feel for many of you, 
that compression can play a very significant and probably for many of you, a primary role in creating your symptoms. So stay tuned for more videos. Glad to see you uh, back on here. We, I love teaching and I love having you uh, ask questions and continue to watch and support what we do here on our YouTube channel. So uh, till next time, uh, this is Dr. Jim Anderson and uh, consider this when you're looking at options for your restless legs. Thank you for watching.